Hey everybody, Blaine Austin here, Soul Machines Plus, and welcome to our show today. Hey, we've got something we're gonna do today that y'all been asking for for a while. And today we have our service manager, Chris Cooney, is gonna be on our show. And we're gonna kind of talk a little bit about how you can do servicing at home. And uh, so we'll kind of show you a few things about that. And uh, so everybody's been wanting that. So you'll get to meet Chris today and uh, we're super excited that he's gonna be on the show. Also, got to give you all a couple of reminders. Uh, if you are been wanting to go to some of our live events, our virtual events, we have that Home Sweet Haunted Home Kimberbell event coming up. It's going to be October 1st and 2nd. We are taking signups right now. You can go sign up for that. And uh, it is a great event. It's a brand new release that Kimberbell's released and our very own Candace Trevino will be teaching that. And as usual, we'll have uh, all kinds of prizes and giveaways and things that we're going to have on the show. So make sure uh, if you go, uh, if you're wanting to do that, go sign up now. You'll be able to make those projects in time for Halloween. And uh, so it'll be perfect timing. I think uh, we had about 80 of you that uh, uh, got on the, uh, the show that we just did last week, last weekend. And that was that special, uh, you know, uh, Kimberbell Christmas. And that we did, we had Kim Christopherson herself was on the show. It was a two day event. And Candace led the charge on that as well. So uh, make sure if y'all enjoyed that one, you know, go sign up uh, again. Uh, we're going to have cutoff. I can't remember exactly the date of the cutoff. But it'll be about two weeks ahead of time. Uh, they'll cut the, the signups off so they can have time to ship all the, the kits and uh, things out to you. So uh, anyway, make sure you go sign up at that because we will, uh, you know, we have a limited about 100 people's all we'll be able to take, I think, on that. So anyway, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, so guys, uh, today we have some great specials on the show again. We're going to highlight today uh, the, the Baby Lock Zeal and the Zest sewing machines. we got a great special in those today uh, that we're going to talk a little bit about. We're going to have Chris on the show doing the servicing. And uh, so a lot of good things, a lot of fun things, and a lot of giveaways as usual. So, hey Kyle, are you uh, you ready to go today? Hey, How's it going? It is going good. So we have Kyle in the house again today. And uh, we have Roger. Roger's in the, he's over at the San Marcos store today. And he's actually with Chris. And he's going to be doing the camera work today. So we won't have uh, Roger on camera. But he's he's with us. So uh, Roger will be here as well. And uh, so, um, and then we got some some a lot of fun things that we're going to talk about today. And, and but again, I got to remind everybody exactly how you can win because people are always saying, well, you know, I, I want to know exactly how to win when we give the giveaways. And uh, so what you do is if you're watching, you go in and just like the videos. You can share it uh, to your page if you're on Facebook. If you're on YouTube, go hit that uh, thumbs up and hit that bell notifications and subscribe. And basically what that'll do is that's going to actually enter you to win. So there's a lot of different ways you can do that. But, you know, while the video is going on today, you're on the live stream, just ask questions, make comments, and all those things will help you. If you're watching this at, at a delayed, so after the live stream is over, you can go back and watch this. If you're, you know, you're having to work during this and you have to watch it at a later time, you can go on and uh, you can go down there and make comments as well and ask questions and uh, in right underneath the video on Facebook and YouTube, and that's gonna enter you to win. Because what we're doing is we're giving things away today, the people that are on the live show, but we're also gonna be giving away a sewing machine um, for from this week's show, but we won't announce the winner till next week. So you'll have that whole week um, until next Thursday that you can go and make comments on the video and and still be entered a you know, chance to win that sewing machine. But last week, as y'all know, that we had a uh, baby lock zest that we were giving away. And um, again, we, you know, people that were on the live show had a chance. People that came on later had a chance. And Kyle, we have a winner for that, don't we? We do. Who's that winner? So here's the machine. Here's the machine. And the winner is? The baby lock zest. So it's Patsy. Patty. Patty. I'm sorry. Patty Cassidy Cole. So Patty Cassidy Cole, congratulations. You're our winner of that baby lock zest sewing machine. So Patty, just give us an email to uh, contest plural at sewmachinesplus.com. 
and to give us your shipping address where you want this thing shipped to and just say, hey, I won the baby like sewing machine. And uh, as soon as we get that information, we'll get that right out to you. So congratulations, Patty. So uh, again, guys, if y'all wanna win something today, make sure you're making comments, asking questions, sharing the video, uh, liking it, giving us a thumbs up on YouTube, uh, all those different things, and that'll help you today. And then even after the show, if it's a delayed, uh, you can go back and do those same type of things, and it'll actually help you uh, for the sewing machine we're gonna give it away. We're gonna give away another Baby Lock Zest uh, sewing machine uh, for this week's show. And uh, we'll announce that winner next Thursday. So you have all the way till next Thursday, you know, to uh, try to get your name in there and, and get a chance to win that. So um, I see a lot of familiar uh, names coming up. Hey, Janice, how are you? And uh, so a lot of people here today. So thank you all for joining in. We always appreciate you all coming on the show. But we, I'm ready to dive right into this, aren't you, Kyle? That's right. <clears throat> I think we're going to uh, let's bring Chris Cooney in. And uh, Chris is our service manager. Uh, he's here at Soul Machines Plus. He works at the corporate office where Kyle and I do. And uh, so he takes care of, uh, he's in there working with all the dot-com stuff. He uh, actually is on the phone answering customers' questions and helping them troubleshoot. And then Chris is also managing all the service techs that are in the retail stores. And then also the, the techs that work in the, the, the call center uh, at the corporate office there. So. He, uh, he manages those texts as well. So, but uh, we're so happy to have Chris here at the show today. So Chris, welcome aboard. How's it going today? We are doing good. So, you know, we get the question all the time. People ask, you know, how do I service my machine at home and all those things? And I know you probably get tons of those questions as well, but we thought it'd be pretty cool today if you could just kind of take us through some simple maintenance that people could do on their machines at home just to keep that machine in, in top running form until they, you know, actually do need to take it in, you know, cause we recommend, you know, once a year, once every two years, depending on how much you use your machine to take it into a certified, you know, technician and let them do the, the whole servicing on it. But between those times to keep that thing in tip top running shape, we wanted to see what are some things that we could do uh, to keep it running good. And, and maybe you could show us all those type of things. Yeah, of course. So there's there's a number of things that you can do in between your your routine annual or biannual service. Um, the there's it's kind of like the things that we expect you to be doing as the end user, as opposed to your professional service, where we'll take the covers completely apart, we'll grease everything, the whole you know check all the adjustments. These are more things you can do weekly, uh, monthly, depending on how much you use the machine. But they will add a lot of longevity to the machine and kind of cut down on a lot of those problems that you do see. So the, the first thing that you always want to do with the machine before you are working on it at all is make sure you turn it off and you unplug it. That's always the first step. But the next thing you want to do here is you can just pull off your little accessory tray. And what we want to really check is we want to check in here and take off your bobbin cover plate and take out your bobbin itself you can actually take this needle plate off. So that's why we've got over here, if you want to see our, our kit that we've just kind of assembled here for servicing, we'll have a can of air. And I know that there's mixed reviews on this. We are completely okay with people using this canned air. Uh, it, it will blow a little bit inside the machine. We'll take care of that for you during your annual service. You get an oil bottle here. And so that's for obvious use, oil in the machine. You have a micro attachments for your vacuum. So this will help kind of get in here and suck some of the stuff out if you want. And then a little brush will also help clean that out. We'll have a fall, small flathead screwdriver like seen here. That'll really help you get into the places you'll see here. And then a couple, this is called a thread nesting tool. So it's gonna be a little hook to help you get thread that may be caught out with a blade. So if we wanna come back over here, we'll see where you can get these two pieces out fairly easily. And then this is where your small screwdriver will come in handy because it's hard to get inside to get the plate off with a long screwdriver. So that will really help speed that process up. So we'll get this screw out here and then make sure your foot's up and you can lift this entire plate off. And you always wanna take these plates and inspect for damage around where the needle passes through that you will see needle deflection. It'll hit 
that'll cause a little burr. Your thread can start to hang up. It'll start to look like tension issues. So this is always something you want to check regularly. Check the, both sides, front and back. I use my fingernail to feel it. If your fingernail will hang up on it, then typically, you know, you, the thread will as well. You can put that off to the side. You can pull out your bobbin case itself. Same thing with this. You really want to look well at this bobbin case all around the edges. Look to see where anywhere it may have been hit by the needle. Feel with your fingers all around the edges. See that you don't see anywhere. There's no needle damage. There's no burrs. Anything would catch the thread here is going to cause a big problem while you're stitching. So once you've got that out, you can kind of place it off to the side. And this is where you can come in with your, your originally your vacuum tools here. So you could hook one of these micro attachments up to your vacuum and kind of get some of that initial out. Whatever is left over, you can use your smaller lint brush and kind of get as much of it as you can out of the machine before using your can, can of air. And just make sure not to be shaking this and just do a couple little short spurts. A few little small blasts will get that right out of there. Once you've kind of done that, you can get your oil here and you will see in the very center of this hook, there's going to be one little spot where you can put a drop of oil right there if you can get it on that, Roger. So you just put one drop right there and there's actually a little wick on there and that will hold that oil. You can just spin it around and you'll see it kind of work in. Make sure you get your needle back up. And really, that's just about all you'll have to do down here on the bottom side. So, you know, again, you can just double check, make sure there's no lint or damage as you're assembling this. The ears will go away from you. And there is a little notch here that will catch it. At this point, I like to turn the hand wheel just to make sure that the bobbin case is sitting right. Take your needle plate again, reassemble that. Take your screw, put that back in and tighten that back up and you're good to go there the next thing you always want to do replace the needle this is needles are only good for about four to eight hours of use they can last longer they can last shorter if if you have a question if your needle's good replace it they're inexpensive and your time is very valuable as well so i always recommend if you're questioning a needle get rid of it always during a service or a, a maintenance, replace the needle. So from here, you can kind of just inspect that your needle threader is coming up and down smoothly. That, that we rarely see any issues with. Um, there's not a whole lot more below. Now we can kind of come up here to the top of the machine. And this is on the zeal. Every machine will be a little bit different. Typically you're gonna find a little cap and a screw or sometimes two screws this one only has one so this will be a phillips head screw go ahead and get that in there and just loosen that screw on out take this and put it off to the side and then if you just grab this entire piece will come off nothing else is attached and it'll, it'll expose your needle bar and your take up and kind of all of the interior pieces here that you'll be able to get to as the end user. So again, any metal on metal point, as you turn this hand wheel slowly, you'll see on the needle bar, on the foot bar, on the cam itself inside, anywhere where you can see a metal touching a metal, you'll wanna put one small drop of oil there while you slowly just work this hand wheel. Do that a few times, just ensure that you know, you're not feeling any binds, everything's rolling smoothly. And then from there, just make sure you get it back up and with your presser foot up. So when your presser foot's down, your tension will be closed. Make sure your presser foot is lifted. That will open your tension unit here. That's just kind of left, or just to the right, excuse me, of your tension knob. Take your canned air. and blow out in between your tension discs really well. We tend to see lint buildup in here will cause tension issues. Uh, typically blowing it out while it's open will fix it. If not, that's, that's when you would get it looked at by a professional. 
But once you've kind of oiled everything back up here on the top and you're happy with it, you just reassemble by putting this back on. It's pretty straightforward. Make sure it clicks into place. Just the single screw again. Go ahead and get that tight. Put our cap back on. We put our full bobbin and bobbin cover plate back on. And you're ready to sew again. So just something that quick just takes maybe five minutes, 10 minutes. That will solve the majority of issues that we see with tension, with needle problems, because that's mainly what we see problems with. It's going to be caused by something going on with your bobbin case or your needle. So doing something like this will troubleshoot the majority of those problems. Well, hey, Chris, that was really some great information. And one of the things I, you know, we have asked us all the time and I want to just kind of throw it to you is, you know, if they, if they do find when they're inspecting their bobbin and they found that that needle has kind of punched it and kind of made a little burr, is that something that they can probably take care of home or would they need to take that in? Typically, if it's the first time that it's happened, you can kind of use the flat edge of a flathead screwdriver and just brush on the top of that bobbin case and, and work that burr to where it's smooth and you can't feel it with your fingernail. And other times, if you get it on the edge or it's such a deep gouge that you are unable to make it smooth any longer, it will need to be replaced. Um, they, they're relatively inexpensive and we do see uh, sometimes a lot of them, when we get in, they have a lot of holes in it. That's going to give you a, a lot less stitch quality. You're going to have your stitches hanging up on there. Um, so most of the time you can repair it once or twice. If it's, if it's a serious damage or it's happened multiple times, it will need to be replaced. That's some good information. I know that, you know, a lot of times I've heard, you know, techs even talk about, you know, if somebody could get a little piece of emery cloth as well and just have a little piece handy and, in case that ever happens, you know, they can, they can just smooth that down a little bit. But, you know, I, I think you're right. You know, my recommendation would be if it's, if they can't take care of that with just a, a little bit of a screwdriver or something just to remove that burr, then I think they either need to take it in or actually just replace the bobbin case. Because again, you know, that uh, we see that all the time, you and I do um, in the service center, you know, they, we, we get machines in all the time. And that's one of the things that, you know, people say, well, it's not sewing right. The tension's off. It keeps nesting. You know, there's some, that's some things that are causing that is either, you know, one, you got a burr uh, on that bobbin case. You've got a dull needle. There's a number of things that can cause that and lint built up uh, in, in the uh, tension disc. So I think those are a lot of great things. And uh, Kyle, wasn't there another question that we had somebody asked? So what are things that should not be done at home? There we go. So do you hear that? that uh... Yeah, so th things that should not be done at home. Um, we have a lot of people who go on online and they'll become an expert on their own and start to take things apart or make adjustments to the needle bar or the timing when the reality of the situation is those things very rarely go wrong. They just get the rap for the blame for most problems when you go into a chat forum or you go to read, you know, uh, someone online who had a similar experience. What we see causing most problems is going to be the thread, the needle, or the tension. One of those three things is the majority cause of the problem. Um, if you've kind of run through all of these things, I would not recommend removing the, the plastic covers all the way. I wouldn't recommend making any actual physical adjustments to mechanical parts. So needle bar height, timing, anything like that it should be done by a professional because you may be able to get it close, but it's, it's going to affect your stitch quality and just the overall quality of the machine and longevity more importantly. Well, Chris, and you know, one important thing too, we need to point out is, you know, I know that people can go to YouTube and watch videos and all these different things, but one of the things that, that need to be aware of, if you happen to go beyond what Chris showed you today and start pulling panels off and going more deeper in the machine, it will void the warranty on it because it's not done. It has to be done by a certified technician to keep the warranty in place. So keep that in mind when you're, if you decide to be, uh, you know, pretty eager and, and tear into machine because 
one of the things you want to make sure of is if you're going beyond what Chris showed you today, then there's something else wrong with that machine. It's, it's causing it not to work correctly. And that's where we need a certified technician to look at that. So, you know, all your brother dealers uh, nationwide and baby lock dealers and all the Janome and all these different brands, uh, if the dealership is carrying those machines, then they're, you know, there's a great chance they've got a, a really good technician on board and he has to be certified with that machine to be doing repairs on it to keep the warranty. So, uh, so make sure of that guys. Uh, but again, what we're trying to show you today is just a simple method. Uh, it's kind of like, you know, a little maintenance on your car. You know, we're just trying to show you some, a little maintenance on your machine to keep that thing running really good and healthy all, all the time. Now, now, Chris, one of the things people ask all the time is how often should I uh, do the oiling and the cleaning like you just did today? So if, if you use the machine every day, do that once a week, you know, take out your bobbin case and, and we recommend it's different per machine. So these, these domestic machines, smaller machines like this, once a week would be fine. Uh, getting, getting the whole thing assembled and, and taken apart, make sure that you're not seeing any burrs, anything like that and putting a drop of oil on the hook. And then, you know, you can put a drop of oil just right on the rim, like it'll show on the bobbin case. Um, those things can be done once a week. Do it monthly if you're if you're not using the machine as often or you're doing it more sporadic. And if for some reason you do all of these things and you're still experiencing a problem, don't ever hesitate to give us a call. You know, we're, we're always here to try and troubleshoot with you. Sometimes it's a case by case uh, scenario, you know, so you'll be getting a bunch of thread at the bottom and we can kind of look into what your specific problems are and help you troubleshoot it so that you may not have to get it to uh, a technician at all. So, you know, if this doesn't fix it and then you know we can't help on the phone of course get into a certified technician but as far as the routine doing this weekly or monthly depending on use chris that's some great content so hey and you know one of the things too i kind of want to point out to to everybody you know like you know you and i have worked some trade shows together where we've done the the quilting machines and you know one of the things that we did every single morning before we started we went in and cleaned out the bobbin cases. We actually, you know, got the lint all out. We oiled them, put new needles in. So we did that every single day to start the day out because we did demos nonstop all day long. So I think again, people got to realize, you know, how long you run the machine makes a huge difference of how much you maintenance it. You know, it's just like anything else. It's, you know, if you're somebody who's a sewer that is, you know, you're pretty hardcore, you're sewing on a daily basis and uh, you're doing a lot of stitches, then you're naturally going to have more lint built up. You're going to have more things that could happen. So I think what Chris is saying is, you know, those are, you know, instances where, you know, we think weekly is probably what you will need to do. If yeah. you're just a, a, you know, sewer that's not sewing that much, then, you know, once a month would be plenty to make sure you're, you know, keeping this thing in good shape. But, you know, Chris, one of the things too, people always ask, you know, what uh, all kinds of machines would this kind of, you know, this little uh, maintenance, thing that you're doing today, would that work on pretty much any machine? Yeah. So, so this is going to be a, a top load or a drop in bobbin case it's known as, and I mean, these are going to come in a number of machines from, you know, this machine all the way to the very high end embroidery sewing crossovers. You'll see a very similar system to this, a drop in top bobbin. Um, the zest is going to be a front load oscillating hook. You'll see that in a, in a ton of machines also, you know, Janome and brother and some of the baby lock, uh, um, and a lot of uh, more industrial type machines, but really there's only one of two systems. There's, t there's top and there's, there's vertical. So um, this will kind of cross over to, I'd say 70% of sewing machines, especially newer machines where you have this top load, all those things are true. Take out your bobbin case, be looking, you know, in your needle plate, all of those things are things that you'll want to do, you know, whether it's a machine like this, or if it's, you know, your super high end embroidery crossover machine. You know, Chris, too, uh, you know, I've asked pe people to ask me, you know, is there a specific type of oil that you, we use? And the answer to that is yes. And then I'm going to let you answer this next question is, uh, can you over oil your machine? Well, so so there's a yes to both those <laughs> questions. There is a, there's a, a semi-specific type of oil. Any white clear machine oil will be good. So, you know, I joke around with people a lot. If you don't have an oil, do you have a, a, a hair trimmer will come with the same oil that you can use on this. So just something that's not too thick, 
um, you'll see kind of the, the viscosity of this here is it's pretty watery, you know, so you don't want anything too thick. You want something that's going to run and spread pretty easily without heat. So really any clear machine oil like this will work. Uh, as far as oiling and over oiling, we get machines sometimes in that customers are a little overzealous, I think, with the oil and we'll see it pulled up in the bottom of the trays. It can start to come down the needle bar and get onto your project. Um, really, it can start to, to turn black if it's in there long enough and drip onto your nice project. That would be the one concern. We do see it um, frequently with people who are maintaining on their own. So they'll put too much in the bottom. Really, it's not affecting you below here. Your only concern would be something dripping down on your project. So in that sense, yeah, you can definitely overoil it, but not overoil it to where you'll damage the machine. Just your project. Well, Chris, you know, and, and we've seen that as well. You know, people, you know, come in with the oil dripping off of them. And, and you know, that's one thing I, I always try to stress to people too is, when they're using that oil, do exactly like you just told them. One little drop is all it takes. I mean, all you're trying to do is just keep that metal to metal lubricated and it doesn't really require much, especially with the oil that we're using. As you said, that white oil, that clear oil, that is a very, very thin oil. So it, it'll really penetrate really easy and it doesn't take much at all on there. Just a little drop of it and that's it. And so, you know, make sure, you know, I always tell people less and more often. If they can oh, just definitely. keep that in mind <laughs> yeah. and uh, they'll be in good shape. Well, Chris, that was some really good uh, in insight there. And I know that, you know, people ask us all the time too. you know, the tools that y'all use. And, and I just want to let everybody know the little kit that you're using there today. Uh, we actually have that. It's a, a service kit. Uh, we actually sell those. If anybody's interested in that, I think you're getting uh, it. Kyle, can we pull that overlay up right there? It is everyone. It's $59.95. And you're getting that compressed air that you see. Uh, you're getting the vacuum, micro vacuum attachments that you can hook to your hose on your vacuum cleaner if you want to, to try to get some of the lint and things out. Uh, you're getting uh, all that, the little brush. You're getting that, uh, I'm trying to remember all the stuff that's in there. Uh, the needle inserter with the lint brush on one end. You're getting that thread nest tool and it has the little picks and hooks where you can pull the nest, the, the thread out. You're Basically, you're getting that that plastic uh, extended tube oil uh, reservoir that you can use. And uh, so really good little kit. And then, you know, sometimes Chris, people ask us how y'all clean the outside of the machine. And basically we just use micro uh, cloths, micro like the micro towel cloths, uh, just to wipe them down for the dust. And if there is, you know, something on there that we try to clean off, y'all, I know y'all use a lot of different methods just to clean, but you know, just regular, you know, just a damp cloth usually will do the trick for everything. And then we dry it back off with the micro micro cloth. So I think that's uh, the way to, to always be safe. We don't like to use any kind of detergents or anything that could harm the outside of the machine or dull the finish. So we try to just use, you know, water uh, with a damp cloth. And, and then we just, you know, the dust that we use, the micro cloths. And then naturally, if you've got a computer screen, like some of the other machines that you have that LCD screen, any type of thing that, you know, you use like an eyeglass cleaner, you can use those, uh, the cloths like you use to clean your eyeglass and that spray that works extremely well on those and uh, to clean them and get all the fingerprints off. So those are just some things that we do here and I uh, hope that uh, y'all got a lot out of that. And hey, Chris, we sure do appreciate you uh, coming on the show today. I know you're super, super busy and to get 30 minutes of your time uh, to me is, is pretty valuable and, and we sure do appreciate you taking the time to come on this morning. Well, of course, I appreciate you having me. And if, again, if anyone has any questions, feel free to give us a call uh, and, and let us know if, if we miss anything or you have any other questions, we're always here for you. All right. Well, thanks, Chris. We appreciate it. All right, guys, y'all heard it right from the, the horse's mouth, so to speak. Uh, you know, Chris, uh, he's in our service center. We do a extremely high volume of servicing and uh, it's, it's an, an amazing how many machines these guys do a, a year. Uh, in the service centers. And so they see every single brand. They've probably seen everything that could possibly ever go wrong with the sewing machine. And uh, you know what's amazing about it is there's a lot of things that Chris tells me that, you know, could be avoided just by doing this little maintenance that we were showing you today that they people wouldn't even have to bring their machines in or send them in uh, if they just did that, that normal little maintenance. 
uh, because what happens if they avoid that maintenance, it just kind of snowballs in and causes other problems later on. So anyway, we hope that uh, y'all got a lot out of that. And uh, anyway, again, we have those kits for sale. If anybody's interested in getting that kit, it has the, the machine oil that we use and all the tools that we use basically in there. And uh, the only thing I think I think we don't have in there is the, the micro uh, towels. And I think we're, we're supposed to be getting some of those that, that we're going to add to have another a second kit that includes the towels and then the eyeglass cleaner. We're going to have that, I think, in there is to clean your screens if you have an LCD screen. So uh, be on the look, look out for that. All right, guys. Well, so, hey, moving on along, since we were talking a little bit about those machines, I think we'll just go ahead and talk a little bit about our machines today. And, you know, I told you at the first of the show, today we're going to be highlighting that Zest and that Zeal uh, by Baby Lock. And guys, we have an incredible show special on them today. And uh, we have a great, great package you get to put together. And if we could, uh, Kyle, let's show them the, the Zest, the very first one. The Zest, this one's $149. And guys, this machine is one of those machines that is just a, a little portable machine, extremely lightweight. And, uh, you know, I can't say enough about these. We have sold so many of these machines uh, through the years. It's been a really popular machine. But right now, what we're doing for $149, we're also throwing in this genuine collection bundle that you see over on the right. It's a great, great little bundle that comes with it. And uh, let me tell you just a little bit about the, the zest. And, uh, you know, this, this thing has 15 uh, built-in stitches, includes a four-step button hold. It has that front loading bobbin. It has the free arm sewing, and it has the darning plate for the free motion techniques. Now, I don't know if everybody knows what a darning plate is, but what a darning plate is, it's a little plate that's going to actually fit over your, your presser plate that you have up there right now. It snaps into place, and it covers those feed dogs. So to actually get free motion, if you want a quilt, you can't, you know, the quilt or the fabric cannot hit the feed dog. Be it, this one, you can't lower the feed dogs. But with that darning plate, you can actually cover them and it lets that fabric slide and you can do the free motion. So it comes with one of those. It has the adjustable stitch, stitch length from zero millimeters to four millimeters. It has that convenient thread cutter. It has electronic foot control. It has that built-in uh, accessory storage. And you're going to get included in this. You're going to get four of the snap-on feet. You're getting the, the sliding buttonhole. You're getting the zigzag, the blind hem, and the zipper. You're getting three bobbins. Again, you're getting that darning plate. You're getting the, a needle package, a screwdriver, a seam ripper, and a spool cap all coming with the machine. Plus, you're getting that, that free bundle uh, with it today. And uh, so you can actually go on our website right now at sewingmachinesplus.com. Up in that search bar, you can just type in Baby Lock Zest, and it'll take you right to the product page. And if you want to give us a call uh, and talk about it, you can give us a call and order on the phone at 800-401-8151. And Nick's team is over there standing by. I can receive your calls today. And again, if you're on our website and you need help on the website, we have our live chat agents on the website uh, we have them standing by there today, and they can also answer your questions and help you out there as well. But a great, great little bundle package today for $149. Uh, again, guys, if this is one of those machines that uh, you can take to your retreats, uh, it's extremely lightweight in, in a small portable machine. Uh, if you're going to take it on vacation, camp, wherever you want to go, uh, you know, take it in your motor home. It is a, a you know, great, great little machine for, for that. And it is a great uh, machine for a gift. I mean, if you know somebody that's been wanting to get into sewing and uh, this is a great, you know, even an entry level machine at 149, plus you're getting that, that genuine collection bundle. So that's a great, great package. The next machine we have up is the Baby Lock Zeal. Now, the Zeal, you're gonna move up a little bit in machine. Now this one is 240, is it $249, Kyle? Oh, $299, $299. So this is a $299 machine. And I'm going to tell you what makes this a $299 machine. Uh, so you're basically going up in quite a bit of the features on this. And so one of the things that this, this machine has 25 built-in stitches, include the one-step buttonhole. It has the built-in needle threader, has the drop-in bobbin, the frame arm sewing, and then 
The difference, a big, another big difference between this and that that Zest is this one has the you can drop the feed dogs on it, so you can do the free motion. So the other one, you know, the the Zeal or the Zest has that darning plate where the, the Zeal does not. It has the where you can drop the feed dogs down to do your free motion, and which is you know that adds to it. Plus, you know, you're you're doing that um, the needle threader and all those different things. The adjustable stitch length is uh, zero millimeters to four millimeters. Adjustable stitch width, this one has the stitch width adjustment from zero to five millimeters. It has the convenient thread cutter, electronic foot control, the built-in accessory storage. <clears throat> and then what's included with this, you're getting the six snap one feet. You're getting the automatic buttonhole, the button fitting, you're getting the over edge, you're getting the zipper, the blind hem, and the, then the general purpose. You're gonna get four bobbins included. You're getting a screwdriver, a seam ripper. You're getting the spool caps for a large and small um, spools of thread. And then you're getting an additional spool pin. You're getting the quilting guide, felt cushion, and lint brush, all with this machine. Plus you're gonna get that free uh, genuine collection bundle that we're throwing in with it. And uh, so all for $2.99 today, guys. Both machines are gonna be free shipping right to your door. And then I think that if you're even needing a little help with some financing, they can probably give you a little financing at the call center today. I'm sure they got probably 12 months or something that available for you to try to help get those monthly payments down low. But again, hey, if you're on our website, you can shop both of these. You can just type in Baby Lock Zeal or Baby Lock Zest in the search bar at the top. It'll take you right to the product page. Uh, we have live chat agents on the on the page today that can help you answer questions. If you want to give us a call and just talk to one of our sales agents in the call center, give us a call at 800-401-8151, and they can uh, take your call and answer all your questions as, there, as well and take your order. So great packages on both of those machines today, guys. And again, both of these machines are extremely portable, extremely lightweight, and you can take them anywhere with you to go. Uh, I tell you, you know, we have a ton of quilters that uh, use these type of machines to take on the road or take to quilt retreats with them. And uh, so it's a great, great machine for that. So Kyle, let's talk a little bit about one of our employees since we brought up the call center. Today, we're gonna highlight another one of our employees. Y'all meet. Y'all may have talked to uh, him on the phone before, but we wanna talk a little bit about Corey. Corey is one of our, our sales agents over there at the call center. And uh, you may have talked to him on the phone. and. So we'll give a big shout out to Corey out there. And, and if y'all uh, happen to get him on the phone, if you call in, just tell him you got to see his picture and, and, and we highlighted him on the show today. So there's Corey, He's a, he does a great job for us. We sure do appreciate him uh, being an employee of Sewing Machines Plus. All right, Kyle, so it's getting about that time, isn't it? Door, Door Buster! Buster. Door Buster. <laughs> I love that so much, I think we ought to do it again. One more time. Door, door, door busters. Do y'all love the door busters as much as I do? So today we have got some door buster deals. And guys, these things, uh, this is the door buster super bundle. And y'all are probably saying, what is that? Well, I'm going to show it to you. So what are these called again? Strap easies. Strap all right, so show show me back, Kyle. I've got a strap easy right here. And these things, guys, if y'all never seen these before, they have they're made of they're a velcro and a stretchy substance. So see how it stretches? You can actually take this if you have a sleeping bag and bundle it around a sleeping bag. If you have a bunch of fabric and you want to keep your fabric together, you put it around her, stretch around her, and it and Stick it to it, and it's got a couple of different places. Stabilizer. Stabilizer. There's a number. And we have got a ton of different sizes. So in that bundle, you have all these different sizes. So you could, I mean, it. you could do this for everything. I mean, there's so many uses for this stuff. Uh, but anyway, this is our door buster prize today. We have our, our deal today. And we have a great little package of those put together. Kyle, does, does it show how many is in the in the bundle on that? There is, in total, there's eight different sizes. Two of each size, correct? Uh, not on all of them. Not on all there's of them? There's a ton of them, though. 
Okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 14 of them. So you're getting 14 of them in this pack. This is normally an $84 pack. Yeah. Today, $29.99 is the doorbuster special. And guys, I'm telling you, there's so many uses for these around the house, even like tying cords and things behind your computer. And, and uh, I mean, I've just been sitting there thinking about all the different uses for these things. There, there's hundreds of uses for this. Any type of thing you want to strap because of that stretchy material and that Velcro, it just makes it great to be able to strap all kinds of things down. And uh, I look at, there's a hundred uses of them, I tell you. So anyway, we have those, we have that great package of those put together. 14 different ones, uh, all for $29.99. This is a regular $84 value. And if y'all been around Velcro and straps before, y'all know how expensive these things are. And uh, we got a great package on those today. So all you have to do to find this is go to the search bar on the website and type in strap easy. Doorbuster. Or just doorbuster? Yep. Okay, Kyle's saying just go and put doorbuster in. So if you just type in doorbuster in the search bar, it'll take you right to that product page and you can buy them. And then if you call in uh, the 800 number and ask anybody on thing, just tell them you want the doorbuster day, which is the strap easy. And uh, they can take you right there and, and, and help you check out uh, through that way. So anyway, some great, great products today that we have and, and um, a great, great doorbuster. So Kyle, what's next? Is it, is it time uh, to talk a little bit about our tubs that we, or, or the tubs that we had last week, the, the accessory bins? Are we going to sell those? Don't we have a special on those? Uh, well, that was a giveaway. Oh, that's going to be a giveaway? Yeah. Okay. All right. So what time is it then? It is. Hello, everybody. It's me, Joyce, the Pfeiffer lady from Michigan. I know, right? Anyway, we all know that Sewing Machines Plus has some great giveaways. They give away those fabulous sewing mats and those fun swag bags and load it with goodies. And they even give away sewing machines. Now, I'm not trying to change the format or anything, but I think that maybe they should give away a little something else too, like M&Ms or... Cheetos, you know, something to stash away in our hiding places. You guys know what I'm talking about. Anyway, it's giveaway time, everybody. Good luck. <laughs> so everybody, that was Joyce Pfeiffer from Michigan. So congratulations, Joyce, for us using your video and you are going to win a sewing mat today for us using your video, announcing the giveaways, which was awesome. And a great job, Joyce. And so Joyce just sent us an email to to uh, so, uh, to contest, plural, at sewingmachinesplus.com and just tell us, hey, I, I won the uh, giveaway mat. And uh, we'll know what that is. So just give us the size and color of the sewing mat you want and we'll get that shipped out to you as soon as we get your information. So anyway, if y'all want to know how you can do that, it's very easy. So what we're doing every single week, we're letting one of our viewers announce our giveaways and how you do the giveaways is basically just come up with some creative way announcing our giveaway. And uh, if we use your video, we're going to give you a prize. It's that simple. So just shoot a video. You can shoot it with your phone, uh, just a creative way announcing it's giveaway time and uh, send it in to contest plural uh, at sewingmachinesplus.com and Kyle will get that. And if he has to do eating editing or anything for you, he will. Uh, but send that video in to be creative now, but send the video in. And if we pick yours and show it on the show, you'll get a prize. It's that simple. Isn't it right, Kyle? Yep, that's right. Pretty easy. So great job, Joyce. That was pretty awesome. So since it is giveaway time, let's give some stuff away. So I think the first thing I kind of spilled the bean on it, Kyle, we, it was our doorbuster last week. Uh, we're going to give it away one of these today to a lucky viewer. And this is that accessory bin that you can put thread and a lot of different things in. It's two-sided. And uh, we blew a bunch of these out last week from the show that people were buying. So we're giving one away this week. So who is our lucky winner, Kyle? Chris Perry. Chris Perry. So congratulations, Chris. So Chris, to, con to, uh, to claim your prize, just send us an email to contest, plural, at sewingmachinesplus.com. And just send us, give us your name, your shipping address, and then in the down in the body, just put "I won the accessory bin," 
and we'll get that right out to you. All right, so what's our next prize we're giving away, Kyle? So we're going to do some sewing mats. So our first winner, let's get us a winner. We're going to give two winners of these. We have two sewing mats away today. And it's Cynthia Johnson. So Cynthia Johnson, congratulations, Cynthia. And uh, Cynthia just sent us an email to contest, plural, at sewingmachinesplus.com. Uh, give us your name, your shipping address. Tell us what size and what color sewing mat you want. And uh, we'll get that shipped right out to you. All right, let's pick us another winner, Kyle. Debbie Lane. Debbie Lane. So congratulations, Debbie. So Debbie, same thing. Send us an email to contest, plural, at sewingmachinesplus.com. Let us know what size and what color of sewing mat that you want, and we'll get that shipped right out to you. All right. And so what else are we giving away? The bag bundle. We're going to give two bag bundles away today, and these are our event bags. Everybody loves these things. They come in eight different colors. They have eight different unique sayings on them. And uh, so our first winner is going to be Judy Jackson. Judy Jackson. Congratulations, Judy. So Judy, send us an email to contest plural at sewingmachinesplus.com and just tell us you won the bag bundle. Give us your full name, a shipping address you want it shipped to. And as soon as we get that information, we'll get it shipped out. And then let's get us another winner. Linda Brooks. Linda Brooks. So congratulations, Linda. Uh, so Linda, send us an email to contest plural at sewingmachinesplus.com. Uh, give us your name, shipping address, and just tell us you won the bag bundle. All right, let's show them what they're going to win for this week's what we're giving away. We're giving another sewing machine away, and you can win. We're going to announce that winner next Thursday's show, but it's going to be another Baby Lock Zest sewing machine that we featured on the show today. Uh, this is a great, great machine. It's a $149 value machine. We're going to give that away on next Thursdays. So guess how you can win is just by basically making comments, share it, uh, you know, go on, ask questions. If you're on YouTube, hit that bell notification, give us that thumbs up. If you're on uh, Facebook, like the video and share it. Those will all get you uh, chances to win. And even if you're coming back and watching the replay of this after the live is ended, you can still make comments, share the videos, do all those same things after the video. You'll be able to do that down underneath the video. And uh, so make sure you do that for a chance to win. And uh, we'll announce that winner next Thursday. So again, guys, got to remind you a couple things. Uh, you know, again, if you haven't signed up for the Home Sweet Haunted Home yet for the Kimberbell event, that's October 1st and 2nd. Make sure you go sign up for that right now. Also, mark your calendars on September uh, 18th or 13th through the 18th, September 13th through the 18th, we're going to have SoFest. So SoFest will be coming on. We're going to be streaming live six days, seven or basically seven and a half hours a day. And it'll go Monday through Saturday. And we're going to have 12 different sessions, two sessions a day, uh, two 30 minute sessions a day of educational classes. And then we're going to have a, a ton of different products that we're going to have on special and with a, a bunch of educators, national educators from all the different manufacturers are going to be on the show and doing demonstrations for you. So you don't want to miss that. Again, we, we're going to have a contest going that's going to be, you're going to be able to enter a sewing project. It's either going to be a garment that you can make to enter or a decor item that you can use for your house. So be two different categories that you're going to be able to enter to win a, uh, a prize for that. So we're, we're, I think Kyle's at open yet. We're getting, it's not open yet, but Kyle will be opening it pretty quick. They'll be open in the contest and all the rules and you can join in on that. Uh, and then we're going to be giving a great big grand prize away again, uh, dream studio for some lucky viewer. And then all down through the six days, we're going to be giving stuff away. So you don't want to miss this. It's going to be a great event and we're looking so forward to it. Again, guys, uh, another great show today. We sure appreciate everybody tuning in. And hey, we'll be back here next Thursday. And next Thursday, you don't want to miss this show because next Thursday we have a great machine that we're going to be highlighting. Uh, it is the, the uh, Viking Brilliance 80. And these are a, a certified refurbished machine that we're, we got. We got 40 of them in. We're the only dealer in the country that has them. And we're going to have a really, really great show price on these things that you can buy. So if you've been wanting one of these really high-end Viking machines, we're going to have it there. And then we're also, hopefully, uh, we're going to have Darnell uh, uh, 
I forgot her last name. Do you remember? Is it Adams? I can't remember. But anyway, we're going to have one of the Viking educators uh, going to be on the show as well uh, to do a demonstration with that machine. So you don't want to miss it. It's going to be a great show. And again, we'll be giving some stuff away. And hey, and remind you, send your video in to announce our giveaways. And if we pick you, you'll get a prize. So uh, anyway, guys, thanks for joining the show today. And uh, we will see y'all again next Thursday, same time, same place. Y'all have a great rest of your week.